Hi, I'm Louie Anderson. Glad you're with us for another Barry Savan, the weatherman, current forecast for the Twin Cities and the nation. Thank you, dear friend Louie, and thanks so much for tuning in, uh, everybody. Right now, uh, let's take a look at, uh, oh, by the way, we do have a very special retro memory coming up at the end of the program. Uh, right now, let's take a look at the uh, satellite imagery uh, for precipitation, the precipitation forecast, and you can see um, the heavy, heavy activity down around northeast Texas up through Arkansas. Right now, there's a tornado watch there from northeast Texas all through the state of Arkansas, and then in southeast Pennsylvania and northern New Jersey, another tornado watch. And uh, other than that, the rest of the country is not in too bad shape. But um, as my wife says, round is a shape. <laughs> anyway, seriously, uh, these tornadoes are not fun, to say the least, uh, for the people in Kansas City and also in Dayton, Ohio, um, who experienced those uh, the past couple of days, just terrible, terrible weather, F4 and F3. And the F stands for Fujita, and I got to be with Dr. Fujita the morning he told me that he had discovered that tornadoes actually form from the ground up rather than from the sky downward, and it's because the warm air circulates upward and uh, just almost unscrews the bottom of the cloud. So uh, that was the morning he said, don't pay any attention to anything I ever said about that. Uh, here's how it really uh, happens. And that was in his tornado chamber at the University of Chicago uh, back in the 1970s. Anyway, let's take a look uh, right now at the nation's high yesterday, 107 degrees down in uh, uh, Rio Grande Village, and that's in South Texas, of course, 16 this morning at Pikes Peak, and uh, right near where my grandkids live in Colorado Springs, and uh, kind of cold out there for this time of year, although high pressure dominates most of the West and bringing down some cooler air. Uh, 72 at uh, Billings today, 73 in Boise and Girlsey, and uh, 82 at Spokane, 67 for the high today in San Francisco, 92 uh, down in Phoenix and 85 in Las Vegas for their high today. Uh, 86 with the heavy thunderstorms in uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, of course, because of the, uh, uh, the tornado watch uh, for the heavy thunderstorms which generate uh, those terrible storms. Uh, 81 degrees uh, in Miami uh, for their high today, 93 in Birmingham and 90 degrees in uh, Nashville. We'll call it the three Bs, Birmingham, Boise, and Billings. How clever. Anyway, uh, 93 degrees with thunderstorms in the nation's capital, very near this front, this warm air coming up from around the high, which is centered over the Gulf and uh, generating quite a bit of instability in the atmosphere, uh, creating this warm front here and colliding with a cold front, which is uh, just off a low uh, near Halifax, Nova Scotia, 69 with thunderstorms. Uh, reported uh, uh, for the high today in Chicago, and uh, 68 with thunderstorms in Detroit, 87 down in St. Louis, with that warm air coming up around that high, and, uh, and again, 72 degrees in Omaha. Again, uh, uh, for all you folks experiencing the tornado activity, please stay safe. Please listen to your NOAA weather radio, and uh, you will be safe or safer, that's for sure. Pay attention. The highs tomorrow, in the upper Midwest, well, let's take a look. We have 85 degrees uh, for Bismarck tomorrow, 72 in Rapid City, 82 in Alexandria, Minnesota, 70 in Duluth, 76 down in Rochester, Minnesota, 74 at Des Moines, 74 with thunderstorms uh, tomorrow in uh, Madison, Wisconsin, 78 at Bird Island, Minnesota. And for those of you who didn't watch way back in the day, Bird Island was one of the cities that used to Give me a call every day with their temperature. Well, now we're going to include it again, 78, by popular demand. Anyway, take a look right now at the current temperature, 71 degrees. The pressure is rising at 29.73 inches of mercury. Humidity of 45%. Winds west at 3 miles an hour. Sky is mostly sunny. The extended forecast is uh, actually a mixed bag. We're going to have some very warm weather. Uh, some thunderstorms, a couple of thunderstorm chances between now and next Tuesday. And uh, the forecast for tomorrow, however, is for uh, sunshine, smiling sunshine up there. Uh, we've missed that. And uh, here in the Twin Cities, the low uh, tomorrow morning will be 62 degrees and the high tomorrow 79. Precipitation chance will be 10% 
Winds north at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Sunrise at 529 tomorrow morning and we'll set at 849 uh, tomorrow evening. Or you could say we've only had three hours of daylight. <laughs> but we're teasing, right? Yes, of course. Right now, a very special retro memory. Northern part of Wisconsin and is... Uh, Excuse me. Uh, uh, could you tell me where the Joe Delaney show is? Uh, right over there. Right, thank uh, you. You're awful cute. I am. But thanks so much to Juliet Prouse. What a wonderful lady she was. And that was in Las Vegas way back in 1969. And I want to say, uh, say uh, something special today, too, to the father-in-law of our co-producer, Jim Neville. He is uh, recording his 77th birthday up in Ramsey, Minnesota. His name is Doug. We wish him a very happy birthday. And we wish you a very good week. We'll see you next Wednesday.